welcome back again. So I'll be talking about the top five India's best institute to pursue your life science PhD. So of course we know the top one is definitely going to be Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. Where is this location is going to be? It's located in Bangalore. Suppose you would love to work in uh, IAC Bangalore, then look around. You can join IAC Bangalore and start as a researcher. The founder of this organization is definitely going to be Jamshadzi Tata in 1909. And if you want to check over the website, you can definitely go to this website and you can check uh, what are the admission uh, notification which will be coming over there? What are the eligibility criteria that you can apply to uh, for a research positions in Indian Institute of Science? They also provide some uh, project training opportunities also over there. And the QS World Ranking, of course, we know it's 186, which is definitely a good rank. So if you want to join as a PhD scholar, you can definitely go for Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. And here they have Department of Biological Science. I'll be talking about, suppose if you're going for Indian you can choose any of the three divisions under Department of Biological Sciences. So you can work in certain areas. So whichever you want to work under, you can check in over the divisions which is given and in the division, you can check over the scientists in which field they work on and then whichever projects you would love to work under, you can literally go and finish. So these are the areas of research that they mostly target on like infectious diseases, neuroscience and health and diseases, DNA repair and genomic stability, structural biology, of course, oncology and systems biology and bioinformatics, immunology, reproductive and developmental biology. So these are some of the uh, areas of research that IAC uh, Bengaluru concentrates on. Suppose if you have uh, any interest in any of these things, then you can definitely go for it. I'm just telling you some uh, sm some small things that is given over here. You can look into the website where you will find a lot of in-depth uh, research projects that is given in the website. So how is the PhD admission takes place in Indian Institute of Science? Suppose if we know, if you want to enter into a uh, PhD in uh, IAC Bangalore, you definitely need to have some national level examination. So it can be a CSIR net JRF or BBD JRF, ICMR JRF, or if you have qualified GATE, and if you're going to be a DST Inspire Scholar, suppose if you have your provisional offer letter with you, then definitely you can go and you can give your interview. So people who have uh, qualified any of these examination along with DST Inspire, if you're gonna be, then definitely you can go and attend the interview process. So what you have to do is, you have to choose any of the three divisions. They will be giving you a list of the division that you can apply to. So you can choose which department you want to apply to, whether it's biochemistry or which one we, you want to apply to. Select the three departments or divisions and then all this cleared candidates only can enter into this interview process. After your interview process, you'll be going to three divisions and you will be attending your interview. If you clear in any one of the division, then good enough to go and join in the laboratory that you are interested. So choose wisely when you're going to choose your division, whichever passion is for you, then definitely go for it. So if you want to enter into PhD in IAC Bangalore, then definitely you have to qualify these examinations. Or if you are a DST Inspire Fellow with a provisional offer, then definitely you can go for this one also. So this is about the Indian Institute of Science was the top second or we can say the top most Indian Institute to pursue your life science PhD in India. The second is TIFR. Yes, TIFR is very good organization where you can actually start your PhD also. Where is the location exactly? Their headquarters or the location is located in the Mumbai, Maharashtra and who is the founder? This is actually in the support of Sir Dorabji Tata Trust under the vision of Dr. Homi Baba. So this is the website. So if you want to know about the research at TIFR, you can go to this website and you can check in over. And what's the QS ranking? If we have to talk about the subject category, then the QS ranking is going to be 201 to 250 in the subjects. And here also they have a department of biological sciences and there are almost 14 laboratories that are working in different fields. And what are the areas of research? Suppose if you are interested in any of these things, then definitely you can go for it. There are very specialized projects which are available. So look around it. I just gave the basic outline of it. Like cell biology, you can go for genetics, biochemistry is there, biophysics is there, developmental biology is there, oncology is there. So whichever is given in the website, 
said, you can check over, check over the scientists, whoever the projects that literally likes you the most, then you can definitely go for this one. Now the question for us is, how can I uh, get a PhD in TIFR? Definitely, as we already know, TIFR uh, PhD admission takes place through JG Bills examination. You have to go through a return entrance examinations, uh, which is recently announced. We also published in our Biotechnica website as well as in the videos. So you have to go and write this JG Bills. And during the application process itself, you'll be applying whether to NCBS and Bangalore or everything together if you clear JG bills then there would be whoever it, who has cleared uh, any of the national examination will have to definitely write JG bills if you want to enter into TIFR so you, even if you have any national examination it's really important that you write this JG bills examination and if you clear this JG bills examination then you will be called for a personal interview at Mumbai along with the uh, professors or with the scientists whom you really want to work or NCBS Bengaluru. So this is how the admission process takes place in case of TAFR. So TAFR, it happens through their own entrance examination, which is JG Bills. What's the third important one? Yes, you can also enter into the next top institute, which is Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. And let's talk about everything in detail. So first thing, it is located in Bengaluru, Karnataka. And this organization, or we can say this research institute is established by Department of Science and Technology. And this is the website, suppose if you want to check over uh, the projects and the scientists over there, you can go to the website and you can check. And this is the departments that you can apply to. So there's evolutionary and integrative biology, and there is going to be molecular biology and genetics. And there is also going to be neurosciences. So whichever you want to apply for, you can definitely go for this. The next important question comes to us is, uh, this JNCA SR not only takes a PhD candidates, there is also going to be an integrated PhD program offered by JNCA SR. So you can also check in over. How is the admission process takes place? Suppose if you want to go for any of the research programs, it can be uh, MS engineering or MS research or PhD in research. So here I was literally talking about PhD. So if you have a valid GATE score or valid GEST score or CSAR, JRF or UGC, JRF or DBT, JRF or ICMR or ICAR and if you're going to be a DST Inspire Fellow with a provisional offer, then you can definitely go and attend your interview. So if you have all these uh, national qualified examination, then only you can go for the interview process. After the interview, if you have cleared, then definitely you can join JNCASR. So this is the third uh, institute that you can apply for. This, these are the top most institute that you can pursue your PhD. What's the next important institute? Yes, of course, we all know about Indian Institute of Sciences. So Indian Institute of Sciences also offer a lot of PhD programs in different departments. I'll be talking about this also in detail. So where is this location? Yes, we know Indian Institute of Technology is located in almost 23 cities in India. So this is an open choice for you. Wherever you are staying, if you find your location is close by, you can definitely go for Indian Institute of Technology. And this was established by Jawaharlal Nehru, all of you know. And this is website. So since there are 23 IITs located, so the website for each of these things is variable. So here I have given IIT Bank Bombay uh, website, so you can check in for all other uh, websites also. And these are the departments which are consolidately written over here. So the next top best institute that you can study your PhD in life sciences is definitely going to be Indian Institute of Technology. We know there are 23 areas where this Indian Institute of Technology is actually located. So the location is almost going to be 23 cities in India and it's established by Jawaharlal Nehru and the website is variable since there are 23 IITs. So you can go to the specific uh, IIT that you want to apply and you can look over. So it is variable. So here I've just given uh, IIT Bombay and the departments are also variable. You can see, so it is going to be computational biology, bioinformatics and drug delivery and therapeutics is also there. And there is going to be bone disease biology and cancer biology, cell and molecular biology, biochemistry. So there are many departments which are available in each of the IITs, uh, but I've listed few of them which is available actually. 
and what about the various iits that is present in india i told you as there are 23 uh, centers or we can say iits are present so you can check each of the department i have also listed out uh, what are the department has um, present in different iits so in iit karakpur you will be having biotechnology bioscience sciences and medical sciences and technology iit bombay biosciences and bioengineering is also there and iit madras biotechnology department is there uh, if we have to talk about iit madras and biotechnology so even though you write the examination if the number of candidates who is coming for the phd examination is going to be maximum then there would be an entrance test if you would do the entrance test really well then you will be called for the interview after the interview there will be an announcement after that again there will be an other interview with the scientist so this happens in case of biotechnology department in iit madras and iit kanpur biosciences and bioengineering department iit delhi biochemical and engineering and biotechnology iit guwahati you have biosciences and bioengineering department that's why i told you there are different department which has different projects it can be in the form of a computational biology drug delivery cancer biology biochemistry research cell and molecular biology research at molecular level so there are different projects which are available in each of these things so iit roorkee biotechnology iit ropar biomedical engineering and there are a lot many iits uh, which has different departments so whichever department you want to apply to whichever iit you want to apply to you can literally go for this and now you might be having a question how is the admission process uh, if you want to get a phd in iit is going to take place definitely as i already mentioned previously you need to have any national level examinations like csar net jrf icmr uh, dst inspire with provisional offer or dbt jrf along with gate exam if you have qualified any one of these things then definitely you will be called for the interview uh, and initially as i mentioned earlier if the number of candidates are maximum there might be an entrance test but it might be variable according to each of the iits and finally there would be a interview based on the interview the decisions will be taken and then you can join any of these iits so now we talked about the complete list of iit now we'll talk about what about iser yes so iser is also located in many places as if you can see so it is also present in seven cities in india so if you want to apply to uh, any of these uh, cities then you can apply to iser in any of these cities and it is established by government of india through ministry of mhrd in 2006 there were three isers uh, which were uh, established in 2006 later the rest of the isers were established and isers also have different uh, uh, websites according to the uh, cities they are located so i've just given uh, it is variable so i've just given iser kolkata here and the departments is usually you can find biological department in all the isers and there are various isers which are present it is in kolkata as if you can see and this is in pune kolkata pune and mohali all this were established in 2006 and they have different projects and bhopal tiruvananthapuram tirupati and berhampur so there are almost going to be a seven isers that's going to be present and the admission at iser is also through the examinations uh, suppose if you have uh, uh, cleared any of the national level examination or if you are a dst inspire having a provisional offer then you can attend the interview or people who have a jrf Uh, experience for some two years also will be attending this uh, PhD entrance examinations uh, conducted by ISER. So either through a return test, some ISERs conduct return test, some ISERs directly go in for the interview. So this is all about the ISER. So I was talking about the top five India's best institute that you can pursue your life science PhD. It can be of anything. So the projects are variable according to the institution, according to the laboratory that you're going to work. So today I was talking about the Indian Institute. Institute of Science in Bengaluru TIFR through JG Bills and JNCASR in Bengaluru and ISER located in almost seven different cities and Indian Institute of Technology located in 23 cities in India so these are the top wonderful India's best institute that you can pursue your PhD so if you have any queries or regarding this you can put everything in the comment section we are ready to answer you at any point of time so i believe that this video is helpful for all of you so if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica thank you all of you for your time and i'm going to meet you back again with another video